My name is Sergeant First Class Kevin Payne. I'm with Cascade Company of 2nd Battalion, 5th Security Forces Assistance Brigade. Now you old timers remember everything was jungle warfare, woodland camis, that's all you trained for. You heard Vietnam stories from the old timers. That's what you thought about. Last two decades been mired in the desert. I think it's time to look back at the jungle because that's where we're going to be headed. Let's go. I am Staff Sergeant Kyle Gersbeck, and I'm a member of Cascade Company, 2nd Battalion, 5th SFAB. My name is Staff Sergeant Hawkins Albert. I'm in Beggar Company, 2nd Battalion, 5th SFAB. My name is Staff Sergeant Michael Catanzaro. I'm in. You remember the first time you got all camied up, right? Maybe it was in boot camp. Maybe it was an SOI or MCT, whatever you did. Put on the camouflage. You think about predator right when Arnold puts it on you get lucky enough you get the boonie cap and you go shit I'm really in the Marine Corps now <laughs> SK company 2nd Battalion 5th SFAB which is Security Forces Assistant Brigade it's very important for us it's been on our radar for a while knowing that our brigade is aligned to Indo-PACOM and knowing that a lot of our partner forces are going to be uh, working in jungle areas and the majority of the AOR is a jungle region. Now we've set up so much training in the desert for good reason, right? But if you look at what the Marine Corps at least has put out, the Commandant, he's said, we need to focus on the South China Sea, right? Get lighter and faster, more tech, smaller outfits with more technology and autonomy. It is a good idea to go back to the jungle, right? Go back to the woodland environment because it's completely different than, say, the urban environment or Afghanistan. So those guys that were in Iraq and they went to Afghanistan, completely different. Terrain, how things worked, what you do. Getting this course is a pretty big deal for us because it gives us the opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the areas that we're going to be working with ahead of time before we go work with our partner forces. Coming to a school like this gives us the opportunity to see terrain and to see... That's not looking like the jungle I'm thinking about, right? That looks more like a woodland environment. Jungle I'm thinking about is you're wet up to your knees in mud. Your feet feel like they're about to rot off. The bugs are out there. <clears throat> not sure where this training is at, but it's a good start, right? For all you guys that have been to, say, Camp Lejeune when it's wet, your feet get wet and nasty, go out to Camp Pendleton or Okinawa, a completely different setup. Definitely good to see these guys doing it. Gets me fired up and gets the, our minds hopefully off all the SJW a-hole, at least the ones making their presence known on Twitter. Tactics that are slightly unfamiliar to us and allows us to kind of get a better understanding of what we could be going into and then it helps us plan for those contingencies going forward. Getting the training on ground and in depth on how to do tactical operations within the jungle, which will then provide us. So you're not gonna have the big established base, right? So if you went to say Iraq in 2008, probably a big base, big fobs. In a jungle like this training, gonna be smaller setups, quick moving. I'm gonna use the term shelter half. You're gonna have to do something to get some cover. Your weapon's going to rust a lot faster, right? Your feet are going to get nastier quicker. Equally hot, but you're going to be sopping wet, so you're going to deal with all sorts of cellulitis. Ability to advise brigade, company, and other commanders in the Pacific. Terrain, terrain, terrain. Uh, that, that is going to be the hugest factor. Anywhere, any country we go to, there's going to be a jungle like this in the Pacific. Trying to guess where they're at. I'm not guessing Japan. I'm thinking maybe Korea. You guys that have been to Korea in the army, let me know what your thoughts are. Everybody let me know where you think this is at. I guess it could be Benning. I see the pine trees. You know, I'm assuming they're somewhere in the Pacific doing this training from what they're saying here. So everybody in Fifth SVAB should be coming to this because they'll have a better understanding on tactics and operations in this environment. How do you prepare? Hydrate, hydrate, and hydrate more. <laughs> Those of you who've been to the desert, you know how the hydration works. 
not really sweating as much. Obviously, with body armor, it's a different discussion. You don't feel the sweat. It gets evaporated off your body. In that type of environment, the sweat's never leaving you. You're sopping wet. Things a little harder to move in, especially when your feet get wet. If you're in your old jungle boots, remember those? Those get sopping wet. How many pairs of socks can you bring and boots do you have? Taking care of your feet is going to be paramount. We did a lot of running and we practiced our knots. Just focusing on my knots, just tying knots over and over and over to get ready for this course. We did a lot of running to make sure that we were able to complete the Jungle 5K uh, in the time standard. And we did a lot of rucking and walking as well just to make sure that we got our feet ready to be able to move through this environment. Ten days. Yeah, getting your feet right for that is going to be interesting. Because guys that haven't been in that hot, humid climate. Now, Fort Benning, hot, humid. Fort Bragg can be hot, humid. But Benning is probably worse deep in the south, right? I don't think they're there from the looks of it. Trying to figure out where they would be with those big oak trees in the background. But either way, taking care of your feet is going to be paramount. Because as you guys know, some people are more susceptible to getting cellulitis. We'll call it jungle rot than others. And once you get that, there's no fixing it out in the field. You're going to suffer through with some nasty, disgusting blisters that look like pustule wounds. Just practicing knots and running every day, so that way we were up to standard for this course. I'm guessing that's Korea. I'm trying to figure out where they're at. Mountains in the background. Maybe Bragg. I don't think it's Benning. You guys tell me. I'm really curious where they're at. Everybody out there, do you prefer the desert, the jungle, or urban? If you haven't done it, just chime in and tell me what you think you'd prefer as far as how your body's going to hold up to the conditions and how you're going to adjust.